Hello Forest Hills friends, it's Teresa here coming to you with your daily spiritual check-in. I hope that you are well, your family is well, and you're figuring out this school, work, shopping, all the stuff we have to do differently. One thing we know is the Word of God does not change, um, no matter what our situation might be, and so we turn to that today. But before I open our text, I just want to ask you a question that's been on my mind. How are you doing? How are you doing? If you ask me that question one day, I might say, it's been a really great day. This happened or I got to talk to this person or was able to complete this task. And then another day, I just might have had enough. Like last night, John was getting supper ready and he said, will you come make a salad? How hard is it to make a salad? And I'm like, I just can't. I just can't do it. Can't make the salad. So, wasn't the best day. So, some days are better than others. Uh, this sheltering at home and this time has just brought up all kinds of emotions for us. Maybe it's brought up fear and anxiety. Um, we have lots of moments of hope and of joy. Maybe we are feeling... frustrated or angry or lonely and maybe we're feeling assured and loved and supported especially by those who we're sharing our life with in these sheltering in place days. There's a group of people in the scripture who probably know a lot about all of these feelings and that's the disciples. So we're going to catch up with them in John chapter 20 beginning in verse 19. And I encourage you to read along or just listen in. Jesus appears to the disciples. It was still the first day of the week. That evening, while the disciples were behind closed doors because they were afraid of the Jewish authorities, Jesus came and stood among them. He said, Peace be with you. And after he said this, he showed them his hands and his sides. When the disciples saw the Lord, they were filled with joy. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Powerful words for us today. So here's what we know from this text. It's still the first day of the week, which means all of this grief, this confusion is very fresh for the disciples, the people who love Jesus the most. They're shocked, they're dazed, and they're confused. We find them locked away, hidden, um, and they're hiding not because they just don't want to hang out with anybody, but out of fear, fear of the Jewish authorities that their fate could be the same one that Jesus faced just hours ago. They're experiencing fear and anxiety, and we know a little bit about that as we are living through these unusual and uncertain times of pandemic and sheltering in place. And then all of a sudden, Jesus stands in the middle, stands in the middle, I like to imagine Jesus just standing in the middle of the disciples, standing in the middle of my home, standing in the middle of any situation I might be facing, and is just present and a sinner. And he proclaims these words, peace be with you. Jesus always knows what his children need. Peace be with you. And he reveals himself, so it's really me. I really died for you. I really rose again because I love you that much. Peace be with you. So no matter what we're feeling day to day, whether you can't make a salad or whether you're getting things done and your to-do list is cleared and making you feel like it was, it was all worth it, know that Jesus stands in the middle, the middle of where you are, Jesus stands in our homes, in our hearts, in our grocery stores, in our drug stores, in our hospitals, right in the center, and proclaims to us and to all, 
peace be with you. Peace be with you, my friends. Blessings.